Right then, hello everyone. Let's take a look at the day today. Okay, 14th of December. Now today we've got a Fed announcement coming out. Um, they're going to announce interest rates and a possible expectation is that the Fed will increase the interest rate. So that gives us a really good opportunity to see what we can do in the market. Now this is the dollar Canadian. As you can see, we have a nice support that's kind of happening around here. Let me just get rid of this and this. Now, as you know, let's do this. All right. This is our situation at the moment with the dollar Canadian. And we have a downwards trend and now we're kind of having a bit of a breather to see what's happening now the market is in a support and resistance range so buying at the bottom selling at the top is the option however however what we're expecting is if the increase in the interest rate does occur this will probably go up a little bit okay and this will probably be the support zone and the market will kind of push up. So if the market spikes down when a news announcement is made, what will probably happen after is that the market will start to buy if the interest rate goes up in order to kind of bring that figure back up to the 1.30, 1.50, even possibly 31.83. Okay, so we'll just see how that happens. So this has an opportunity to go long. So this is the support area. Um, as per our technical analysis okay let's take a look at the euro dollar now euro dollar um, as you know we were expecting the market to pop its head up around here it came pretty close what we'll need to do is obviously wait and see what will happen in the news as you can see yesterday wasn't really a great day for trading simply because the market is waiting for that news so they're thinking well why should we risk ourselves and that's true why should they risk themselves um, all we have to do now is also wait but as you can see we have a nice downtrend and the market seems to be pushing the euro dollar down so that's what we have to do all right just wait for the news see what happens and according to that we'll see how things will change okay let's take a look at the dollar franc Now that's obviously going the opposite direction as you can see yesterday i did mention um, this was the buy zone area here the market came nicely bouncing off from here and they're nicely buying it from here and that's what we were expecting according to technical analysis because that's what our technical analysis was telling us and we did exactly that okay <clears throat> now the market i reckon will continue to go up um, and if the interest rates are positive as well this will carry on going up as well and we'll see the dollar franc going higher i think that's what's going to happen um, on top of that, just be, be mindful of a spike because news announcements tend to bring a spike about. Just be mindful of that and see um, what really happens after the news. You know, waiting for the market to stabilize is definitely a good idea, and trading these uh, news announcements is definitely, definitely a good idea. All right, um, just be mindful though. It it can be spiky so just wait for that spike to kind of calm down and then go with the main direction of the trend pound there we go not really much happening from yesterday onwards same kind of zone um, what we can do here is kind of let me get rid of this all right so this is our kind of channel up move direction now if the market goes up it'll need to break this level here okay or this level let's say for it to start going up a better line is that I like that from top to bottom nice little triangle once the news comes out it's going to go two ways up or down um, but like I said if the um, if the interest rates go up this will probably break down and we'll see how that goes because the market as you know took a big fall since brexit now it's kind of recouping itself okay but we'll see how things will eventuate with this news all right mindful trading but possibly a direction down uh, if the interest rates in the u.s go up let's take a look at gold gold as you can see market is in no man's land it's in the middle of a channel dangerous place to be um, i prefer to do my trading 
the bottoms and tops of channels this area is always going to be choppy and dangerous as far as I'm concerned so what we need to do basically for gold is to wait now gold like the euro dollar if the dollar gains value this is obviously going to lose value so if that moves up and the interest rates goes up as well this will start to come down so they'll start to sell um, sell the gold off gold might come down to back to 1050 region um, where do I know that from you might say let's see okay so gold might come all the way back to 1050 which is there all right simply because if I make this a daily tighten this up a little bit as you can see there's a double bottom there okay now it's at 1161 it is a, a big fall down okay I'm not saying it's going to get there but if it did we would definitely be buying there but I reckon over the course of um, January I think it has the potential to keep going down um, if the euro dollar is continuing with that downwards trend which I think it will then what we'll need to then what we'll see is the market for the gold price to go down as well let's take a look at Brent Brent as you can see um, same thing it's just finding support now from this support possible up it's not a bad spot to actually go long because you can use a tight stop loss around here and you can follow oil up I think people um, due to the sh oil production cuts the oil prices will continue to go up and we'll probably see 60 bucks a barrel um, hope that helps have a great day trading and good luck with your trading and just remember the news is very important it's a great opportunity but it also has its risks so be mindful on your money management all the best